Alrighty guys, time for another Palantir stock update. It's actually looking pretty good today. It's up over 2% or right around 2% right now when I'm making the video up 28 cents up to $14 and almost 50 cents per share. So in this video, you guys know the drill. We're going to break down the markets, the charts, key levels that I'm looking at here on Palantir. And of course, what I'm looking to do. Did I buy yet? Am I looking to sell? Am I holding my existing position? So if you all find value, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe. And of course, guys, don't forget to get up to 16 stocks for Moomoo, the sponsor of today's video. And each of those, by the way, guys, could be valued up to $2,000. And Moomoo is a great platform, cutting edge platform. So check it out. Link down below. And yes, that is an affiliate link. It helps out the channel. I appreciate you all as always. And with that being said, guys, cheers. And oh, by the way, follow me on Twitter, guys. I'm getting way more active on Twitter at Stasserfest or Stas Talk Stocks. Follow me on there. I appreciate you all as always. And with that being said, well, cheers. Let's dive right into the video. So Palantir, like I said, is up around 2% as the markets right now are not doing much. It's currently about, what, 355. So the markets are about to close in five minutes. And we have all the indexes except for the Russell right now up uh, barely anything. Pretty much at break even, you know, up a little bit, down a little bit. And we have the Russell doing pretty well up 0.6%, which if I pull that up, very quickly, guys, before we dive here into Palantir, you can see that the Russell is right at the 180 moving average right here. Let me actually clear this drawing set. We're right by the 180 moving average. Boom. Uh, that also held that support back in the beginning of July, late June as well, right around 1830 to 1850. So that spot is holding right here, which is nice. And if I'm a bull on the Russell, which overall, I mean, uh, long term I am, but who knows what's going to happen in the short term. Uh, but, you know, if I'm looking at the Russell as a bull in the short term, I want to see it hold 1830. The second it breaks 1830, guys, boom, we're probably going to start flushing down to, uh, you know, 1800, maybe 1790, 95, something like that. But right now, as of today, it's up over half a percent. Markets are about to close in five minutes on this beautiful Friday. By the way, I hope you guys are having a great Friday. I hope you guys did have a great week. And let me know in the comments where you're watching this video from. If you're in the U.S., what state are you watching this video from? If you want to share, of course. And if you're abroad, what country are you watching this video from? I love asking you guys that. And I love hearing how global this channel has become. It's crazy. I'm not saying I'm in every freaking country, but it's wild to see that some of you are in India. Some of you are in the UK, you know, Canada. So if you're in a different country, let me know in the comments, guys. I appreciate you all for tuning in as always. So yeah, Russell's looking pretty good as we are holding uh, the mid 1800s right now, as we now have four minutes left in the trading day and Palantir. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but this right now is starting to bounce off of 1380 to about $14, which we've covered before here on the channel. That was support from back in the end of June. You guys can see right here. Then back in the end of June, uh, from that point, we ran all the way to 20 bucks. Now we're back to $14. And you guys can see if I pop up this five day, five minute, we actually took out the lows today from yesterday. Yesterday, we bottomed out at, or we didn't really bottom out at all. We were making lower lows all day. But the low of the day was right around, let me see here, $14, $14.05, something like that. And well, we ended up going all the way down to $13.60 this morning. And now we're uh, we're actually pushing $14.40. Earlier in the day, we actually hit $14.60 about, what, an hour ago? Uh, yeah, about an hour ago at about 2.53 p.m. on the East Coast. So this stock ended up running right out of the gate, which is good for the bulls here. Now we're starting to get a breakout on the five-day, five-minute. Will we reverse all the way back to 16 bucks now? Not necessarily, uh, but we are starting to see a little bit of momentum right here as we are seeing that golden cross. Again, the break above the moving averages. And here on the 10-day, 30-minute chart, you guys are going to see, well, even with that rally, we're still overall in a downtrend, which honestly should not surprise you guys uh, at this point. And it's the same thing here on the 20 day, right? If anything, this kind of looks like a triangle, a descending triangle, which I'm not going to lie. That's not the most bullish pattern by any stretch of the imagination. Let me actually draw this out and show you guys, which honestly, if you want Palantir to go lower, this might not be bad in the short term if you want to pick up shares at 11.12. If this plays out, you might be picking up shares at 11.12, guys. At least I'm looking to do that. I'm not sure what you guys are looking to do, but this is what I'm seeing right now 
on Palantir, right? We have these clear lower highs that have been made since the beginning of this month, so about three weeks at this point, and we have clear support at around what? 1375 14 bucks, which we're holding still right now, but the second we break under that point, boom, that triangle is going to play out, and that's where we could start pushing uh, you know, $10, $12 range, which is still possible on Palantir stock, guys. I know a lot of the bulls might tell you otherwise. They might be like, oh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna go down anymore, guys. Uh, but you have to realize stocks can do the unthinkable, right? They can do the unthinkable and they will do the unthinkable. That's what you have to learn. The sooner you learn that, guys, the better you're off in this game, which is the stock market. You know, it's, it's, you, you always have to be prepared for anything, right guys? You always have to be prepared. I'm telling you, if this triangle plays out, we could be seeing a dump, maybe not straight to $10. That'd be kind of nuts. Uh, although that is possible as well, but that'd be another drop of around 30%. But, but maybe it goes down to 12, 13. Maybe it goes down a little bit more than that. I mean, guys, this morning it was in the mid thirteens for Pete's sake, right? So we already broke through that point. Uh, now we've just recovered over it a little bit. But again, on the 10-day, we're still in a downtrend. 20-day, we're still in a downtrend. So be very careful here with Palantir, right? I'm not trying to be like, oh, you know, it's it's going to collapse. I'm not trying to, you know, be uh, the bearer of bad news here. But I'm just being realistic, right? We're, we're just uh, telling it how it is. I always tell it how it is here on the channel, guys. And, and hopefully you appreciate that. Let me know in the comments if you do. I don't know. But at this point, that's what I'm looking at. We have this triangle. We're still in a downtrend, even though we're up a little bit on the day uh, right now. So five more seconds, guys, until the bell hits. Are you ready for this, right? Boom, right now. Boom, there we go. So 4 p.m., guys. Palantir officially closed up about 1.8%. Not bad. And let's take a look at some of these other names here. Of course, we have Hawaiian Electric, which I made a video a couple of days ago uh, about that one. It's currently up around or went up as of close a second ago, uh, about 14.5% on the day. So pretty good day for Hawaiian Electric. And do you guys remember what I said a couple of days ago on the initial drop? I was like, be careful, guys. This kind of reminds me of... Uh, the First Republic Bank situation where everybody dived into it or dove into it on the first uh, drop. And, you know, if you did that with this stock, you'd be screwed right now. Because, look, this thing was at $48 or $38, excuse me. It started to creep down a bit. And then we saw that big cliff dive. I'm sure a lot of people bought in right here at $19, bucks, And then we pretty much cut in half again to $9. And now we're at 13 bucks. So you'd only be up right now if you bought yesterday or maybe this morning if you bought a couple of days ago on that initial dump and you were impatient you were getting too excited you would be screwed right now and this is exactly what i was warning about in my last video about the stock right this this reminds me exactly of what we saw four months ago or, or whenever that was in march uh with the bank stocks i mean i remember first republic like it was yesterday right it went down whatever it was initially a lot of people don't or you know jumped in on it and then it went down even more. Then it went down even more. And you guys know how that ended up playing out. Uh, and maybe that happens with Hawaiian Electric. I mean, I was reading that they might restructure. They might consider bankruptcy. So that's it's it's very risky. I mean, yes, you could be making uh, th there could be a lot of money to be made here if they somehow make it through this tragedy. Uh, well, I mean, they're being accused for the tragedy. I don't know how that's going to play out. Uh, if they somehow make it through this without bankruptcy and they get back to what they were, yes, there, there'd there be a lot of money to be made here, no doubt, considering the stock was once, let me see here, uh, a $45 stock. Yes, there could be a lot of money to be made. The dividend's nice. Well, maybe they, they cut the dividend at this point. They probably should cut the dividend. Uh, but either way, it's a huge gamble. So be very careful with Hawaiian Electric. It looks like Bed Bath & Beyond also did pretty well today, up 11%, although they're still in a downtrend here. So be very careful with Bed Bath & Beyond. It looks like Nikola went up 5%, also still in a downtrend. Palantir, okay, we just talked about that. Let's see what else. AMC went up 1% on the day, not bad. Uh, what went down on the day? Looks like, okay, the Chinese companies, which we talked about in my previous video. Looks like some tech stocks are starting to give, which we talked about Tesla earlier today. Uh, that's one that I'm eyeing up in the low 200s, especially under 200. 
Uh, Google starting to give back a little bit, which is good. That got a little hot, even though it's still pretty much in control or the bulls are still in control, in my opinion, here on the chart. I uh, gave back around 2% today. So yeah, guys, pretty boring day overall today. Pretty much a break even day with the small caps doing pretty well. And uh, yeah, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Get your free stocks for Moomoo up to 16 stocks, each up to $2,000. Just use that link down below. Open up your account and funnel with that lease. 100 bucks, you get five stocks. And funnel with that lease, $1,000, you get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks, each up to $2,000. And if you fund your account, that lease, $5,000 for a limited time. On top of those 15 stocks, you also get a free share of either Tesla stock or Expedia stock. So get on it, guys. Link down below. And with that being said, folks, cheers. I'll see you in the next one.